I'm Terence O'Brien. We're here in Woodstock in Carrick Tool. Here in Woodstock, we're stabling for about 40 horses. We have two walkers. We've got an indoor school that we use to break horses and school them over fences. We have a three furlong circle gallop with a four furlong hill off it. There's a climb of 200 feet from the bottom of the gallop to the top, which is a fair test of a horse's wind. And the advantage is that you don't have to work as hard to get their heart rate up, up high. You're in the anaerobic zone after 180 or 90 beats a minute and up to maybe 200, 220 beats a minute. And you don't have to go really that fast when you're on the hill to do that. So for a horse's mind, I think it, they're working hard without galloping. Uh, we also have a hill gallop over nearly five furlongs and grass. Last year we put up a schooling strip which we found to be fantastic. It lets us school in all weather, especially in the summertime and in the autumn when the ground can be pretty quick. I was always interested in humans, how the a human athlete trains, especially milers, because it's similar enough distance to National Hunt horses, you know, they're running for three, four, five minutes. I was often wondering how you could replicate that kind of training to, to the equine athlete. And, but I always found it hard to know exactly what effort they were putting in. and It was very much a subjective thing. So two years ago, we started using heart monitors. I found them to be a great tool for measuring. You see in black and white, if their recoveries aren't as good as they should be, then they're probably not fit or there's something wrong. And so it probably gives you an extra lever gives you confidence to work them a little bit harder maybe and it also gives you a warning if you're going overboard that you have to stop so the staff are the most important thing in any training art we're lucky in the fact that we have some great people they're interested and they all buy into the system here and it makes a huge difference to have a happy art.